I actually gauge how well I'm doing or how well we're doing by do I feel comfortable? Do I slightly feel like, oh man, like <laughs> we're, a little, we're a little on edge here. If I don't feel like I'm a little bit on edge, I feel uneasy because that means I'm acting safe and I'm making safe decisions. Right as we were coming out of like really being in a negative place with, with my first production company, I got a call from someone else who had a production company and they had a contract with Ray-Ban. And they said, hey, Raven wants to do this crazy spot with like exploding balloons with paint and like changing the colors of the glasses and all this crazy stuff. Can you guys do it? And we're like, absolutely. And they're like, okay, great. Can you do it for this much money? Absolutely. I hung up the phone. I looked at the guy who was, who was my partner at the time and I go, how the fuck are we going to do this? <laughs> and he's like, dude, I don't know. Why'd you say yes? And I'm like, because it's Ray-Ban, we're going to get it, dude. If we get that account, what else are we going to get? And it was, I'll be honest with you, it was a shit show. It was insane. It was crazy. But we kept pushing, we figured it out. Like we, oh man, we, we ended up, have gotten to a point where like it was good, we knew what we were doing to some extent, but we'd never worked at that level. It was like jumping 20 rungs up the ladder and we're like, we'll do it, no problem. Shooting green screen, slow motion, super like, and this is back, you know, more, more than 10 years ago. And so it's like, when we were rendering these 3D balloons out for the first time, we're like, okay, that's great, let's render it. And I remember this specifically, we're there. And so CG balloons back more than 10 years ago, we press render. And it like sits there for a minute and it calculates render time, like 27 days. The project's due in three days. <laughs> Literally, we, 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 like, we scrambled, Eddie and I we were like scrambling. We were renting space from this other office and they had like hundreds of computers. And at night we went around, we installed all the render software on their computers and we like networked them all together, like unknowing to them. And we rendered it out and we got the project done and it was really successful. I didn't know how we were going to do it. That was uncomfortable because I, and what, 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 what pushed me to just figure it out was the fact that like, I don't want to ever tell anybody I'm going to do something and then not do it, not deliver. So again, it was like, we could have just said, oh my God, we can't render this out. We can't, it, guys, it's going to take 27 days or we need X more, you know, thousands of dollars to like render this thing out or send it to somewhere else or sorry, it's just a failure. What are we going to do? I don't know, man. Why don't we start? We just figured it out, right? And so it's just those little things where you just, you kind of overextend, like you overpromise, but then you can't, you got to meet it. You got to meet it. And it's just about figuring it out. It's, it's, I think the most important thing, skill in life, regardless of what you do, is problem solving. If you can just go like, I don't know how we're going to get there, but I will I will figure it out. I will find the right people. I will find the right problems. I will ask the right questions, and then we'll get there. That will take you anywhere you want to go.